Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you for joining me for another of the Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination videos. Today we're looking at Twisted Citron. So this particular colour, I've never decided whether it's a green or a yellow. It's kind of between the two. We're going to be comparing it with other similar colours in the range, if there are any. And I'm going to be giving you two colour combinations that you can use with this one. So let's first of all start swatching this onto some white cardstock and see what it really looks like. Now everything I'm using, including the blending brushes, the colour chart, the blending mat and of course the ink pads are all available linked down below from various places. The colour chart is completely free for you to download from my website so go ahead and look at that if you want a way of organising and seeing at a glance which colours you have and which go with which ones. So I'm going to put Twisted Citron first of all loaded up onto my blending brush in the middle of this strip of paper. This is just because my first colour combination, I'm going to have this in between two others. So as we can see, it does go on quite bright, quite pale, in comparison to uh, the ink pad there and the lid. So you can see there, is it a yellow? Is it a green? It's, it's, it's like a lime, isn't it? A lime green, uh, le lemon lime. <laughs> so as you can see, compared to the uh, label on this particular paper, which is a smooth white cardstock, it's about uh, 250 GSM, but it's completely smooth. It's actually a stamping card. Um, this is a little more yellow rather than green and I've always found this, it's more towards the yellow side, but the label definitely shows it as a green. Now the ink pad of course is also much darker, we always expect it to be darker but again I feel like there's more green in the ink pad than the yellow that you see once blended onto the paper. So pop this to the side, let's have a look and see what else we've got in this range. So I'm going to take out the greens and the yellows. I'm pretty sure we probably won't have many blue greens in here, or certainly even any dark greens that will match. But as you can see, the way these fall is that Twisted Citron is at the top of the green column here. So we've got Twisted Citron, um, and there's nothing else on this strip that's anywhere near. So we'll come over to more of the yellows. And as we work our way up, I think I feel like Peeled Paint is a darker shade of similar colours. Um, but then we really have nothing else, nothing similar at all. I think definitely Twisted Citron stands alone 100%. So if you are looking at purchasing colours and you don't want to double up on any that are too similar, then definitely Twisted Citron is one to add to your stash. So let's create these colour combinations. Now, the first one is going to be, I call it tonal, probably not even the right word, but uh, this first one, I always do it. So it's going kind of from dark to light within the same colour group. So I'm going to go for, to mo from Mode Lawn into Twisted Citron and into Squeeze Lemonade. Before I do that, I'm just going to take a cloth and just wipe that excess off of my blending mat. And I use a little bit of parchment just to hold my um, just to hold my strip still. This just means that I'm not going to get any ink on my fingers or fingerprints on the ink blending. This is more important once I've actually added ink to this end. So squeeze lemonade. Let's put this in first. Again, quite a pale colour. I just find this one works exceptionally well into twisted citron. There we go. Look at that. I mean. In my opinion, usually once you've ink blended, you have about a minute or two before the dye part of the oxides has soaked into the paper. Um, and then you're just left with the pigments on top. The blending is much, much easier while the dye and the pigment are still wet. Once that dye has started to soak in and dry, I don't feel like you've got much chance of being able to easily blend at all then. You need to add more ink. So uh, obviously I've chatted, I've left that a while and that's still blended beautifully. So maybe proving me wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going into Mode Lawn on the other end. So this is a nice dark green. Now this is definitely a green. Mode Lawn says it all, it is a grass green. Really juicy this one. It's quite a new ink pad or rather it's recently been um, refilled or re-inked. So I'm going to go up to where the Twisted Citron is here. I'm not going to go beyond that colour. I'm not going to try and blend with Mode Lawn here. Now at the moment it is the 19th of December as I film this. So we've only actually got sort of just over 10 days, 10, 
12 days until the end of the year. What my hope is to release a video almost every day to get through the last 10 videos that we have in this series so we can start next year afresh. So stay tuned for that. So I'm going to add some more Twisted Citron and I'm going in where I did before and then I'm going to add some more along this blend line here where the mowed lawn is. And then I'm going to come back with what I've got left on my brush here and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to gently go in circles and I'm going to work up into that wet twisted citron. I've got a little bit of fluff on one of my brushes there that's transferred onto the paper. And that's fine. There we go. So that all needs to dry. Obviously the mowed lawn was particularly juicy so we've got a lot more of the dye. You can see that there by the deeper darker colour that will all fade that will soak in that will dry and it will be a lovely sort of cloudy effect that you get with the oxides but look at that so mowed lawn twisted citron into squeezed lemonade beautiful beautiful greens so i'm going to give everything a clean and then i'm going to give you another completely different color combination so for this one i'm going to be bringing in some pinks which uh, I'm excited about because I really do love pink and green together, particularly if you are doing a floral card and you need a nice ombre background to put some uh, florals onto. Obviously the pinks match my nails at the moment, which is perfect. So I'm going to start with peeled paint, which is a much darker green. But as I said, whilst looking at the color chart, I feel that peeled paint really is just a much darker shade of Twisted Citron because it's quite a, it's got quite a bit of a yellow base to it. So let's pop this down on the end, first of all. So always working in small circles. Now somebody asked why I use brushes rather than foam. And really the answer is just that I prefer the brushes to the foam. I find you can apply much lighter if you need to. I feel like the ink goes further as well because it's not soaking into the foam. And I just feel I have more control with a brush than I would if I was using foam applicators. Now I know there's lots of different types of brushes out there. So there's large ones, small ones, uh, ones that are circular with a big handle on top, ones with long handles like these. So it's kind of find your preference with those, but I just find personally brushes are easier to work with and much nicer to blend with than uh, foam applicators are. But of course I spent many years using foam applicators before brushes were even a thing. So uh, I have used those over the years and until brushes came out, I didn't have any problems with them. So here, Twisted Citron is much, much lighter, of course. So I'm going to go over the boundary there, over the blend line, and then with what's left on my brush, I'm going to come back and blend those two in. So you can see the speckles there. Now this is kind of where the paper is. It's not an expensive paper. I'm actually using a really inexpensive paper. I've got a mix of paper strips here, so it's very hard for me to later on tell you which paper I'm using. But I usually find the least expensive ones have this sort of mottling go on. Usually once the colour is dry, again, that dye is now soaking in and doing its thing and drying. But once it's all dry, that's where I find... That, that fades and I don't get that muffling anymore and it looks much clearer like this so try not to work at that too much give it a chance to dry and then decide whether you're happy with it uh, otherwise you just end up overbuilding too much ink and just ruining your project so then moving on to spun sugar a pale pink so this is the palest of all the pinks this is actually a, a recently re-inked ink pad so it shouldn't be too pale I'm going to just take the green off of my mat because I don't really want that mixing with the pink too much and turn this over I'm going to put the pink along here now you do tend to get a little bit of a sort of mossy browny green when you mix pink and green because essentially it's very similar of course to sort of mixing uh, red and green I suppose but uh, it's not too bad with it's not so bad with twisted citron and because you've kind of got that yellow base oh, let's make sure I do the right green there because you've got the yellow base it's not quite as brown so then going back in with my twisted citron brush let's bring those two together as best we can they're not the ideal candidates for mixing 
but they do work and this then leads us into the darker pink the picked raspberry there we go nice yeah that's not too bad at all actually but you can really see where that yellow has come out now sometimes it's quite hard to see that spun sugar because it's so light and of course I do have bright white lights on which is kind of reflecting off of the cardstock here makes that pink a little or even harder to see but it is there and I'll pick that up again in a moment and show you a little closer but let's just add the picked raspberry to the very end let's hold on to this so that picked raspberry is extremely green but I wouldn't want to try uh, bringing this bright pink into the lime green I think that's asking for trouble um, with the mixes between the two so this is a nice a nice soft blend into it just on the end there not much blending needed or required at all between the pinks there which is what we like there we go so there we've gone from the dark green to the brighter green to the pale pink to the darker pink just reminds me of fairies, garden fairies. I've got the grass and the pinks there, beautiful. So there's two colour combinations and both including Twisted Citron, which is our focus colour today. And if you like these videos, don't forget, of course, to make sure you check out the playlist because I've got all the colours from the Distress Ink and Oxide range there. I have the last, now nine more to film and I'll be doing those hopefully by the end of 2023. Take care, everybody. See you soon.